Hey guys, it's Jesse from PS4Daily.com here, and today on PSN Weekly, I'm giving you guys a quick look at The Swapper, a, the latest title from Curve Digital, who has actually been pretty active in the PlayStation community. They brought over Thomas Was Alone by Mike Bithel, uh, Proteus, which you guys will see on PlayStation Plus on Tuesday, Lone Survivor, and more recently Mousecraft, which was on PSN Weekly just a few weeks ago. So it's pretty cool to have them back on PSN weekly and to check out another one of their titles they have a pretty diverse lineup in the playstation community but anyway um the swapper is i believe one of the more interesting titles that curve digital has brought over to the playstation platforms it's available on ps4 which is what you're seeing right here ps vita and the ps3 and so it's a 2.5d side scroller in which you play an unnamed scientist who is exploring what appears to be an abandoned space station. Now, I say appears to be because the story is not laid out all willy-nilly for you to... Uh, it's not It's not laid out in an a, going from, from point A to B fashion. You're not just going to figure it out just like that. The Swapper is one of those games where it gives you the pieces to the puzzle, but it leaves you to actually figure everything out. Or at least that's how it seems like uh, about maybe two hours into the game where I am right now. So first I need to address what the swapper itself is and which is probably one of my favorite elements of the game. So the swapper is actually a device that allows you to create up to four clones of yourselves. These clones mimic every single last one of your actions down to a small step, a hop, or even repositioning your weapon or just device it's not really a weapon it's more of a it's more of a uh, it's more of a device actually but yeah so normally these things would just be used to solve puzzles and just things of that nature in in most video games but in the swapper it's not just to solve puzzles but it's actually one of the driving points for the plot so from what I've been able to decipher People have been creating these clones to help them mine materials and do all these other things in the space station and possibly even more space stations somewhere in space. And these things have called into question whether or not it's ethical to create these clones and to make them do your bidding. And the fact that they're mimicking your actions just like that, you know. These people, from the audio logs I've discovered uh, around the ship, I've I've been able to piece together the fact that these 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 people, you know, they called into question all these moralities with the clones and everything, and I believe the clones started having a personality for themselves. Um, in this video, you're gonna see me walk past these stones, which have little, which have like little phrases on them, broken phrases at that. And it makes me wonder, did the clones make these? Who made these? In fact, why is the space station so abandoned? Why is it so cold? And why is it really creepy? And that's another thing I like about the Swapper. It does atmosphere so, so, so well. If you've been reading my PSN weeklies or just my articles in general on ps4daily.com, you'll know that I love video game atmosphere. I love games that get I love games that have a good atmosphere and really immersify you in the gaming universe. And this is one of those titles that excels at doing that. From the moment you land on the space station, you feel like you're in a dark, dank, cold place. You know from that moment that you're alone, but there's no one else on that ship for the most part. I say that for two reasons. One reason is a spoiler, which I won't talk about in this video, and another reason is because there are other things manning these elevator-like things, and I believe those are left behind uh, clones. They all look the same, giving credence to the fact that they are probably clones, but they never move, they never talk, they never really do anything except for manning this, the, uh, the elevators. and. It just adds to that really creepy atmosphere and just 
it sends a chill up my spine just thinking about it right now and it just I love it I have a smile on my face uh, the swapper is a really really good game uh, frame rates good the graphics are absolutely beautiful even on the beat of the games fantastic it supports cross save across all all platforms so you can go from playing on the PS4 to the PS3 to even the Vita on the go. It's a really great game and I got I encourage you guys to purchase this when it goes up on the PlayStation Store. If you haven't already pre-ordered it that is. Anyway guys, I'm Jesse with PS4 Daily and this is your look at the Swapper. I'll see you guys later. Mind Science Laboratory, Space Station Theseus. What you're telling me isn't possible. <laughs> Tell me who I just ejected into space.
do it.